First one says, Ma Hada means what is this? Second one says, Hada Kitab. This is a book. Uh, Ahada Bait. Is this a house? Naam. Hada Bait. Yes, this is a house. La. Hada Masjid. No, this is a mosque. Man Hada. Who is this? Next. It says Hada Hada is pronounced Hada, but it is written without the first alif. Arabic has no word corresponding to the English is, i.e., Arabic has no copula. There is no word in Arabic cor corresponding to a in English, as in this is a book. The n sound at the end of the Arabic noun kitabun baitun. Masjidun is the Arabic indefinite article corresponding to the English A, and this N sound is called Tanween. The particle Hamza placed at the beginning of a statement turns it into a question. For example, Hadha Bait, this is a house, and Ahadha Bait. Is this a house? So we have two very important things in this chapter. The first thing is what is the meaning of Tanween in English? It's, um, it's the indefinite, indefinite article. It's the A and N and it's the Correct. N sound at the end of the sentence and or the word. Whenever we want to meet or uh, convert any simple sentence into interrogative sentence we just put the particle hamza in the beginning then it becomes an interrogative so these are the two main points of this chapter so you know you, the word it wouldn't would it wouldn't be pronounced baitun would it so you wouldn't say hada baitun you'd just say bait yes in arabic and especially in quran we don't read the last vowel of the sentence. So here we will say Haza Bait. But if it is a complete sentence like this, another word after Bait, then we will read this vowel as well. Haza Baitun Jamil. Haza Baitun Kabir. So here in my example, there is another word after Bait. So I need to pronounce this vowel as well. But in this example, we will not pronounce it. Okay. Next. Okay. Um, should I? Okay, I'll start from the left. Bite is house. Who? Should I go down or across? It is up to you. Okay. Masjid is mosque. Bar Bab is door, Kitab is book, Kalam Kal is pen, Mif Miftah is key, Maktab is writing table, Sarir is bed. Next. Um, Kursi is chair, Najam is star, Qamis is shirt, uh, Tayyib is doctor, Tabib. Tabib is doctor, Walad is boy, Talib is student, Rajul is man, Tajir is a merchant, 
Kalb is dog. Kit is a cat. Himar is a donkey. Hisan is a horse. Jamal is a camel. Deal is a rooster. Deek. Oh, Deek is a rooster. Mudarras is teacher. And Mindil is kachif. Mudarris. This is Kasra. Yeah, Mudarris is teacher. Adar Sulawal. First lesson. Okay. Read this. The Hada. Yes. Hada Bab is this is a door. Hada Masjid is this is a mosque. Hada Bait is this is a house. Hada Miftah is a key. Hada Qalam is this is a pen. Hada Kitab is this is a book. Hada Kursi is this is a chair. Hada Sarir is this is a bed. Hada Maktab is this is a writing table. Next. Ma Hada. I think that means what is this? Correct. Hada bite. This is oh ma hada. Hada bite. What is this? This is a house. A hada bite. Is this a house? Naam hada bite. Yes, this is a house. Ma hada. Hada kamis. What is this? This is a shirt. A hada sarid. Is this a chair? La hada. Kursi. Sarir mean bed. Is this a bed? Oh, is this a bed? No, this is a chair. Ahada mif mifta. Is this a um key? Is this a key? key. Is this a key? La hada kalam. No, this is a pen. Mahada. What is this? Hada najam. This is a star. Tamreen Lowell, first exercise. Miss Bahia, read this. Mahada. Mahada. Hmm. What is oh, the meaning ma of Mahada? Mahada. What is the and meaning of Mahada? What, okay, I'll say the meaning. What is this? What is this? And what is the answer here? Hada Mufta. Haza Mifta, okay. Mif Mifta. Mifta. Next. Uh, going to the second one. Ma Hada, oh, what is this? Mm -hmm. Ma uh, Hada Hada Kitabun. Haza Kitab. In the answer, we don't use the interrogative article Ma. Uh, hada Kitabun. Ma Hada. Hada Kalamun, Kalamun. Kalam has a Kalam. Next. Ma Hada Hada Babun. Hada Bab. Ma Hada Bab Babun. Ma Hada Hada Um Baitum. Hada Bait. Bait. Have a bait. When do we use baitum and bait? I'm always confused. Al baitum, no. Al bait, a baitum. In the middle of the sentence, we use baitun. At the end of the mm -hmm. sentence, we use bait. Ah, okay. Gosh, okay. Have a bait. Ma hada? Hada kursi yun. Hada kursi. Tamreen Asani, second exercise. Miss mm. uh, Mahbuba. 
A hada bait. Is this a house? A hada mifta. Is this a oh sorry. Uh Naam uh Hada Bait. La 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 Haza Masjid. Oh the okay, yeah, that is a masjid, sorry. Um La Hada Masjid. A Hada Miftah La Hada Kalam. A Hada Kamis Naam Hada Kamis. A Hada Najam Naam Hada Najam. Tamreen Salis third exercise Ikra Waktu. Read and write Miss Bahia. Uh Ikra Ikra wa wak wak tub uh hada hada maktab maktab. Um I don't know what I have to do. Translation. Uh, okay, that's Hada uh, Maktab. That's uh, Maktab is a uh, secretary, so table. This is a for... desk. This is a table. Desk, yeah, desk. Uh, Hada Hada um, Mus Mus Hid uh, Mus ah, Musjad yeah, Masjid. Ah, Masjid. He did no harakat. The Hada Masjid. Hada Kolam. Column. That's a pen. Hada sarirun sarir. That's a sarir is a bed. This is a bed. Okay. I have a question. Yes. So, you know, is it just through getting new vocabulary we're going to understand when it doesn't have the halakas? Basically, in Arabic, we don't use the vowel. Only the non-native speakers use the vowels. So, at the moment, you are learning Arabic. So, that's why they will slowly, slowly move you to Arabic without vowels. Okay, that's okay. they are not using many vowels. There. They want you to memorize them. Okay, so as we go on, all of them are going to disappear and we're just going to be able to read. Yes. Inshallah. Okay, thank you. Inshallah. Yes, Ms. Bahia. Ms. Bahia, are you here? Yes. Continue reading. Uh, have uh, ma hada. What is this? Oh, uh, I don't see anything. Hada, I hada. Uh, do I go down or do I go to the left? Haza kursi. Ah, okay, continue. Hada kursi, kursi. Hada kursi. Uh, ah hada, ah hada, baitu, bait. Ah hada, bait. La hada. Masjid. Ma hada? Hada? Muftah. Miftah. Mith, 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 mith. Mith, miftah. No. Mith. 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 Yes. So, man hada. So who is this? Hada tayyib. This Tabi. is a tabib. Sorry, tabib. Tabib. This is a doctor. Man hada. Hada walad. This is who is this? This is a boy. Man hada. Who is this? Hada qalib. This is a teacher. Student. Oh, student. Ahada walad. Is this a boy? La hada rajul. Is this a boy? No, this is a t a man. Yes. 
Mahada, what is this? Hada masjid, this is a mosque. Man hada, who is this? Hada tajir, this is merchant. A, a merchant. Hada kalb, this is a dog. A hada kalb, is this a dog? La hada kit, no, this is a cat. Hada himar, this is a donkey. La hada hisan, no, this is a horse. Man hada, what is this? Hada jamal, this is a camel. Ma hada, what is this? Wa ma hada, and what is this? Hada jamal. Miss Bahia. Hi. Oof. I'm sorry. Something fell on top of me. Uh, ma hada. Hada. Dikun. Uh, ma hada. Hada. Man hada. Man hada. What's the man? Man hada. Hada. Mudr. 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 Mudras. Mudaris. 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 Yes. Ah, uh, ahada, ahada, cos, kamis, kamis, kamis. La, hada, la, hada, ah, uh, min, mindil, mandil, mandil. Mindil. Min, mindil. Hada mindil. Ikra waktub. Read and write. Miss Mahmoud. Going away the sound. Are you that teacher? Sorry. Hello? Yes. Miss Mabu will continue. Um Ma Hada. What is this? Hada Kalam. This is a pen. You know when I say kalam, do I have to say like with the kalam? Or do I can I just say kalam? Both are okay. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Okay. And then it says, Hada Kalb, this is a dog. Try to make it a little soft. Hada Kalb. Cough is heavy and calf is little thin. Okay. Hada Kalb. Man Hada. Hada Tayyib. Tabib. Tabib. Sorry. Man, who is this? This is a doctor. Hada Jamal, this is a camel. Am, am I reading it in the wrong order? No, it is correct. Hada Kalb, la Hada Kit, is this a dog? No, this is a cat. Hada Deek, naam, is this a booster? A rooster? Yes. Okay. No. So, yes. Ahada Haysan, is this a horse? La Hada Hemar. No, this is a donkey. A donkey. Hada Man. Mindil, mm. this is a, I'm not sure what that is. Handkerchief. A handkerchief. Ahada walad, naam, is this a boy? Yes. Man hada, hada rajal, is this a, who is this? This is a man. A man. Lesson two. So first we learned about Haza and we learned about the interrogative article Hamza. Now we have this lesson number two. 
So that can you hear us? Okay, Miss Bahia, in, this lesson, in this lesson, we learned the use of Valica, meaning that, and uh, wa, meaning and. Example, this is a house and that is a mosque. Hada baitun wa hada masjidun. Muzalika masjid. Read the vocabulary as well. Ima, uh, sugar, uh, sugar, uh, sugar. Imam, ima, imam, imamun. Milk, uh, leben, leben. Stone, had, hajar. And that's Susani second lesson. Zalika. Dad. Zalika. Jahanana. Oh, Mahbuba. Zalika. Zalika. Zalika because it's feminine, right? No, it is masculine. Mas ah, Zalika. What's the feminine? Hadihi? Feminine is Zalika. Okay. Uh, ma ma Zalika. Ah, in uh, it's a uh, Dalika Najam Najam translation. What is this? This is a star Dalika Ma uh, Najam. What is that? That is a star. <coughs> what is that? Dalika. Okay, what is that? Uh, Hada uh, Hada. Masjidun. Ah, uh, wa dalika baytun. Okay, hada wa dalika. Okay. This mm -hmm. he this one here it's it's a this is a masjid, and there wa dalika and that one over there it's it's a house. Okay. Ah, uh, dalika a dalika kalbu. Kalbun la dalika kaitun. Is that a dog? No, that's a cat. Hada his son. His son. Hada his son. Wa dalika himar. This he this one here. This is a, a how horse. And that one over there, Wadalika uh, uh, Himar. That is a donkey. How do you call that donkey? Madalika. What is this? What is that? What is that? Dalika Sarirun. Sarirun. That is. Uh, a chair um, that is a bed um, that a bed a bed hada oh kids it uh suk sukur hada sukur wa delika le uh leban 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 this is su uh sugar and that one is uh is is milk Miss Mahbuba. Ma Dalika, what is that? Dalika Hajar. That is a stone. Man Hada wa man Dalik. Who is that and who is what this? is that? Oh, who is this and who is that? Yes. Who is this and who is that? Next. Yeah. Hada Mudaris Mudaris Wadalika Imam. This is a doctor and that is an Imam. This is a teacher. 
Mundan is mean teacher. Summary okay. to novel first exercise Ikra to read and write. So read this as a Hada Sakar wa Dal Falaban. He means this is sugar and that is milk. Man Dalik Dalika Imam. Who is that? That is an Imam. Adalika kit la dalika kalb. Is that a cat? No, that is a dog. Ma hada hada hajar. What is that? That is a uh, a stone. What is this? This is a stone. What is this? This is a stone. Al kalimatul jadida new words. How to say Al Kalimatul Jadid. Okay, Jadid. New words. Yes. Kalimat. Hindi. New words. Imam is a Imam. Hajar is a stone. Sukkar is sugar. And Laban is milk. Miss Bahia read this. In this lesson we lesson we learn the use of the Arabic definite article al, which corresponds to the English the when the definite article al is prefixed to a prefixed to a noun naturally, the indefinite article is dropped n is dropped to is dropped. It's dropped. Al Baitu. Uh, put it put bigger. Al Baitu becomes Al Baitu a Baitun. Okay. When we have that's a when we have the article Al, we don't say on. We say Al Baitu. When you don't have Al, it's Baitun. So okay. what is the meaning of Baitun? House. A house. Ah, uh, okay. A house. And Al Baitun. Okay. A house. It's, it's definite, okay. Uh, definitive. Albeitu. Albeitu is a house. The house. No, the house, definite. Yeah, mm. Definite. The and house. We cannot use the mean with albeitu. We, we cannot can, use the what? We cannot use the mean. The article. Okay, we cannot use, okay. When you have albeitu, we cannot we don't use the mean, okay? Yes. Read the next part. Read the next. Okay, I was thinking of, of the proper names. Ara uh, Arabic has 28 letters. Of these, 14 are called solar letters, and the other four are uh, Luna, uh, called lunar letters. In the articulation of the solar letters, the tip of the blade, the tip of the blade, the, of the, blade, the tongue is involved as in T N R S, etc. Ta nun ra sin, etc. Ta nun ra sin. The tip of the blade of the tongue does. Does not does uh, does not play any part in the articulation of the lunar letters as in ba wow mean cat etc. When al is prefixed to a noun beginning with a solar letter. L, the lamb Alam. of the lamb of of L um, is assimilated to the solar letter. Example, Ashamsu. Ashamsu, the sun, is pronounced pronounced Ashamsu. Ashamsu. So Asham. In solar letters, we don't pronounce lamb. Lamb becomes yeah. silent. 
and lunar letters we pronounce lam as well mm -hmm. uh no change takes in writing uh, shamsu the the assimilation is is indicated is indicated by the shadda in the first letter of the noun no such assimilation takes place with the lunar letters for example al, al kamaru al the the moon is pronounced al kamaru al kamaru al kamar here are some more examples of the see some more examples of the lunar letters assimilation uh, of, of the assimilation of simulation of the lamb lamb of al to the uh, solar to the solar letters al najmu becomes an najmu al rajul becomes a rajul al, al diku diku becomes a diku as samaku becomes as sam al samaku becomes as samaku See the table of lunar and solar letters, page 13 in the, in the Arabic book. Note, note that the A, Alif of uh, the A, is, they're talking Alif about Alif. Of Al. Alif of Al is pronounced only when it is not preceded by, by another word. It is preceded by a word. It, if it is preceded by a word, it is dropped in pronunciation. Uh, though it remains in writing. Example, Albeto. Here, the, the Alif Alif is pronounced. But uh, if it is preceded by Wa, meaning end, by Wow, meaning end. Okay, Wow, which means end. And the Alif is dropped. And it's pronounced wa wal wal baitu. Wal, wal baitu, not wal al bait. Wal baitu. Wa al -baitu. Basically, if wal -baitu. the letter before alif, the sound mm -hmm. becomes silent. Wal baitu. Wal baitu. And this is a uh, alif alif. Uh, it becomes how do you call that? Hamza tulwas. No, no, it's not even Hamza tulwas. It's just is it said Hamza tulwas? Yes, yeah, it's a uh, The initial vowel, uh, the initial vowel, Miss Mahbuba, you read this. The initial vowel, uh, Alif, Alif. To indicate this omission in pronunciation, this sign is placed above the Hamza, so well bite. The initial vowel, Fata Kasra, uh, yeah, which is um, which is omitted when preceded by a word is called Hamzatul Wasl. Um, the door is open, so Al Bab Babu Maftu. The door is open. Al Qalam Mu Maksur. The pen is broken. We have learned so I, I, I haven't understood this bit. That topic completes here, Amjatul Wasan. Then a new topic starts. Here they will tell you that we don't use the meaning of Tanvi in adjectives. Okay. So these are in these examples, he will tell you that Maftu, we cannot say this door is a open. We cannot say the pen is are broken because for adjectives, we don't use the meaning of Tanween in translation. Okay. Okay. So the note, we have learned that tan Tanween is the indefinite article and it is to be translated as Alif. Example, uh, uh, as A. As A. Yes. Um, bite a house. This does not apply to adjectives like maftuh open and maksur maksur broken 
Hmm. So we don't use the meaning of Tanween in adjectives, hmm. okay? In translation. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Next. So we have some vocabulary here. Um, Fakir means poor. Ghani means rich. Khasir means short. Khawil means tall. Har means hot. Uh -huh. Barid means har. Um, barid means cold. Waqif is standing. Jal, jalis? Jals? Yes, jal. Jalus. Jalis. Jals. Sorry? Jalis. Jalis is sitting. Qadim is old. Ja Jadid is new. Yeah. Ba'id is far away. Qarib is near. Wasij Wasikh. is dirt. Wasikh is dirty and Natif is clean. Nazif is clean. Kabir is big. Fagir is small. Taqil is heavy. Hafif is Khafif is light. Alma is water. Al warit. Warak, warak is paper. Jamil is beautiful. Atufah is apple. Hulf, hulf is sweet. Adukan is short and marid is sick. We will stop here and next time, inshallah, we will continue. If any of you has any question, they can ask me now. I have no questions right now. Okay. Anyone else? I was going to say, uh, Mr. Hanari, if I may, I don't understand the um, Arabic writing. How can I start a new 